Hey, this is Mike from DangerInPlay.com, and today we're going to talk about supplements for men. Now, instead of just writing something out and leaking to a bunch of crap, I'll show you, like, here's what I actually use. But before we do that, I want to talk about three things. One, supplements will not make you big and jacked. Going to the gym, eating right, taking steroids will make you jacked. Two is, if you have an actual nutrient deficiency, taking a supplement will actually feel like a drug. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Three, why does my hair look like this? Well, I was going to do a video on does TRT cause hair loss, and then I ended up being overtrained and becoming physically exhausted, so I didn't feel like doing videos. And then I got the flu. So this is six weeks of way more hair than I should have. But anyway, does TRT cause hair loss? Obviously not for me. So we're going to come over here and we're going to look at some supplements that I take and why I take them. All right, let's go here. This is the only supplement that I think pretty much every man needs, and this is minerals. These are uh, chelated minerals, and that is because your body can absorb them better. They're bonded with an amino acid. I think it's called Albion, A-L-B-I-O-N. And the reason you need minerals is because our source of minerals is food. Where does the minerals and food come from? From the soil. But if you read about topsoil erosion and you read about food growing and other things, then you realize that there aren't a lot of minerals in the soil, so they're not getting to the vegetables and therefore they're not really getting to us. So this is what I believe pretty much everyone should take. With this, zinc, sometimes I take extra zinc, sometimes I don't. This is magnesium oil, you don't need to zoom in. Okay. And um, it's a transdermal form of magnesium, it absorbs well. I stopped taking it because it pretty much burned my skin and I felt like I was burning alive. I don't know why that happened, it used to be fine. But this stuff works really well, transdermal magnesium. This is alkylthiolene, this is alpha lipoic acid, and this is 5-HTP. I take this when I do um, like MDMA, or if I do any kind of like parting or anything where I need to detox. This will detox your liver. This will keep your brain from um, losing serotonin and from harming your serotonin receptors. This is a general antioxidant. It's also a glucose disposal agent, which is good if you eat a lot of carbs. Generally speaking, this is like special purpose stuff that I take for, like I said, a special purpose. This is NADH, and this helps if you have adrenal fatigue, or in my case, I was overtrained. This is MK7. I got jack shit out of it. Waste of money, but not really. This is optimized folate. My buddy who goes by the name Thorlonius started taking it, completely changed his life. Here's what I mean by some supplements being drug-like. If you, if you have a gene deficiency, which one in three people have, then your body actually can't absorb normal vitamin B12. So you have to take optimized folate. What does that mean? One in three people are gonna take this stuff and say, holy shit, it's the most amazing stuff in the world. Two and three are gonna say, yeah. Well, I'm one of the guys, yeah. Because I don't have that gene deficiency. What you're gonna learn about supplements is that a lot of this stuff is all dependent upon your genotype. For example, I take way more magnesium than most because I have a gene deficiency that causes me to either lose magnesium or not absorb it. This is a multivitamin, AOR Orthocore, it's a high molecular weight vitamin. It's supposed to be the best vitamin. Multivitamins cause a lot of drama with people because it's antioxidant, and some people say too much antioxidant are actually bad for you, and that limited oxidative stress is good for you. I don't know, take it, see how you feel. This is Arnica gel, I use it when um, I have inflammation in my joints or a black eye, something like that. This is gum. It kills bad bacteria. I order it in bulk. It tastes really good. The flavor doesn't last, but it kills bacteria in your mouth. It has this stuff called xylitol. And that's all that for there. So we're going to come over here. This is my best supplement. This is a juicer, Omega J8006. Um, big, big believer in juicer, as you know, if you've read the site. If not, check out fitjuice, F-I-T hyphen G-U-I-C-E dot com. High speed blender, Blintec, Blintec or Vitamix. There's a whole post on fitjuice about that. People pick the side. I like a Blintec because it fits under the counter. Uh, this is just a general blend of slow release protein, gas beer mix that I think another stuff called Trutine, which is another blend of caseinate, whey, and egg. This is powdered. MCT oil, also from Trutine. 
by the way, not that it looks like I get sponsored, but I don't have advertisers, I don't like have supplement company sponsors or anything. So what I take is essentially what I take. This is powdered MCT stuff. I'm a really big believer in MCT oils, but you can't take your oils if you travel. So this is great to travel with. This is branched chain amino acids. A lot of people say, oh my God, take amino acids, they'll make you bigger. Not really, but they help me recover. And in the long term, anything that helps you recover quicker is going to help you gain muscle in the long run because you can get more workouts in. So I take the Lycofuse, which is a high osmolic carbohydrate, your body absorbs it quickly. I mix some of this with some of this. It gives me great workout intensity and it helps me recover faster. This is a glutamine which again is one of those things people say help you gain muscle. Not really. I took it because, like I said, I was overtrained and I got the flu. It's a great immune system booster, so I'm just going to use the whole jug until I have it done. It's not going to do anything remarkable, but it is good for your immune system. And that's it. Oh, wait, one more thing. Uh, like I said, I take MCT oils and I take Udo's Choice oil. What I actually do is I mix them half and half, so I take the Udo's oil into the MCT oil keep it in the same bottle. That just saves me from having to switch bottles one or the other. So that is it. Those are the supplements I take. But like I said, this is my favorite supplement of all. So thanks. This is Mike from DangerPlay.com. Thanks a lot for tuning in.